is basically a person's soul. Um, I think a ghost is somebody's spirit who doesn't rest in peace. So uh, I feel like their their spirit stays here on earth with us. So I think that's a ghost. So I don't think everybody gets to like roam around. I think it just depends like if you have a hard time passing. So. So yes, I do believe that people can be possessed by an evil spirit. Um, when I was younger, I got sent to a, a retreat in San Diego because I was a bad kid. So it was like a religious retreat, and I remember we were on our knees and we were praying, we were praying and stuff. And there was a, there was a group of, of people around us who were praying the rosary, and all of the, the kids were in the middle, and we were all asking for forgiveness for the things that we have done and this one girl she started screaming in the back and she started saying all these things and I couldn't understand her and she was like spitting and like she was like talking this whole other language and they had to like calm her down and like pray on her and all this stuff so I do think that people can be possessed by evil spirits. My paranormal experiences would be how whenever I would shower I would always hear three knocks on my bathroom window which is pretty high up so I always knew it wasn't like any of my sisters or anything and when my mom would leave me alone um, I would always hear three knocks at my door all the time like in the middle of the night like 3 a.m. and one of these nights I opened the door because that because they grew Every time it would be in groups of three and somebody told me that whoever was doing that was mocking the Holy Trinity and that's why everything came in sets of three. Um, I've also been asleep, well not asleep, I was laying in my bed before when I heard somebody scream in the middle of my room and there wasn't anybody there. And I knew that nobody else could hear, I knew that it was only me who heard it, but it was really loud. Um, I've had a lot of experiences. <laughs> I've also seen my closet door handle twist all the way open in the middle of the night. Um, I have had a like, paranormal experience. Basically, my teddy bear was moving from a chair I would previously leave it the night before. And then my sister ended up telling me it was her. And then my sister went with my grandpa for the summer and the teddy bear still kept moving and then I found out later that it was like an 11 year old girl that was like in my house basically. I think that all those movies are real and stuff. I think that when you watch movies like that there is like an evil spirit that follows you around when you watch those kinds of movies because I think that all that demonic stuff is real. I've never tried to encounter a ghost simply because I wasn't really interested until like a year ago when I started becoming a lot more fascinated. Yes, I've tried to encounter a ghost several times, many, many times. Um, I've played games with my family members to see stuff, to see if I could talk to somebody. Are there any spirits trying to contact us?
Sam. Sam? What's Sam? Sam? Sam. Sam. How old are you, Sam? You pick your fingers up. Can we say goodbye? Well, I'm here. You want to say goodbye? Yeah, you said goodbye. All right, goodbye. Are there any spirits that would like to contact us? Are you Sam? Is this Sam? Goodbye. 